You ready? Uh-huh. Okay, so the first question is, um, what descript brief description of what activity we did. Um, so I had my husband and my son, they both, um, my son taught me a couple of sentences of Spanish and, um, actually he taught me, um, how to ask a girl to kiss him or something like that. And then, <laughs> and then my husband, um, I'm not even sure exactly what he was teaching me, but something about music and, um, and different instruments that he uses to create the music that he creates. He's a musician and he creates music. So, um, I got that much out of it. I really, you know, he talked for about five minutes and I'm not really exactly sure what exactly he was saying, but, um, something about music and the different instruments that he uses or something like that. Um, and my, um, seven-year-old is videotaping me, so, um, hopefully she's getting this. Um, what expectations did you have before the activity? So, I wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, I kind of knew already that I wasn't, I was hoping that I'd be able to get something out of it. Um, especially with my husband, because he speaks Spanish really, really well. Like, he's very fluent in it. Um, so I was hoping that I would be able to pick up on like some things and I think I did, you know, the music bit of it, but, but I really have no idea like exactly what he was teaching me. Um, and I'm sure that that's the way students feel when they come into like a foreign classroom and they're, um, expected to understand everything. I'm sure that it, they maybe catch a few phrases or a few words here or there, but they probably have no idea on, mm. about the concepts of what exactly they're learning. Um, how, how did you experience challenge or reinforce your core beliefs? So, um, it was really challenging. Um, I tried like with Russell, I, I tried to say some of the words that he was saying and that was even really difficult. Like, um, I've, I haven't really done experience, um, experimented with that a lot. And he really speaks it a lot better than I do. And it would take a long time, I'm sure, for me to be able to, to speak fluently in Spanish. Um, I, I've been around it, but I've never been able to really pick up on it really well. And they, I think it would take me a very long time to be able to do that. Um, How did the experience challenge or reinforce your core beliefs? What do you feel the most interesting or important thing you learned? I definitely learned that, um, that as a student, you would feel extremely overwhelmed. Um, it would be impossible to feel uh, comfortable. You would constantly be um, trying to figure out what the teacher is saying, trying to figure out clues, trying to grasp any clues that you can grasp about the environment that you're in. I'm sure it would be extremely difficult. Um, the language, the culture, everything's different, and I'm, I'm sure it would be extremely difficult. Yes, Emily. Um, do you want me to, like, when you're looking at that, do you want me to point at it, too, or do you want me to just look at your face? Yeah, you can just look at my face. It's okay. So I can do this if I want? Yeah, that's fine, too. Yeah. Did you um, know that I didn't pause this? You did pause it? I didn't. Okay, that's oh, okay. Oh, you're seeing this. Um, okay. So my future relationship with students, I definitely need to make sure that I understand <laughs> what each student is um, experiencing in my classroom and how, like, what their cultural background is and what languages they are used to speaking and um, make sure that I'm available to them as much as I can possibly be, uh, making sure that they, maybe if there's another student that is more, um, has more understanding of the language or maybe an interpreter or whatever it takes to help them to be able to understand what's going on in the classroom I think is very, very, very important. Um, 
yeah i think that's probably it thank you mm-hmm